a couple years and a little more gray We'll stop dreaming about each other It's no one's fault we'll find a way to get senseless Hello there! I know this looks extremely different, but hey! So today, obviously, I'm not on Star Stable or Minecraft, you know, the only two games I ever play. Instead, I'm actually playing Tales of Rain Ravine. This is a game I wanted to play for a long time on my channel. I've played it before, but just I never filmed it because I didn't think anybody would be interested, but I hosted a poll and you guys seem pretty interested, so here we are. Now, I did mention I've played this game before, so all of the beginning tutorial stuff where you like learn how to ride and jump and meet the horses, I've done all of that already. If you want to see that though, like you've never like seen a playthrough of the game and you want to see me do it, I'm fine making another video and just restarting. This game is really fun, so I really don't mind it. What I wanted to do today was ride the one horse in the barn. I haven't ridden him yet, but you get him after you finish all of the lessons. Um, his name is Damon, and I haven't written him. Apparently, he's the horse you need to finish the last, um, show that's on that board because none of the other horses can jump the same height as him, so I thought it'd be fun for me to, like, try, <laughs> try to do it and just jump him around first, and then I'll kind of just, like, explain how this game works. So, this game is only a demo. Like, I'm pretty sure it's nowhere near done. Like, someone told me this is about only like 20% of the map. I don't know if that's fact or not. I have to read up. But this game's only available on Patreon. Again, it is a demo, so it's not a full game. I think the whole thing took me about two hours to quote unquote complete. But that's just because I'm slow and I didn't really understand the controls at first. I think I got the $10 one, which is why I have all of the horses unlocked. I'm pretty sure the $3 tier doesn't give you this horse I'm on, but I wanted him, so I got the $10 one. And I don't mind supporting games that are actually good, you know? So I want to try a jumping course on this horse. Um, let's see. Do that one, and then see if he can... I don't know if he can jump max height. Let's see. Hold on. Now, the controls are really interesting, actually. Okay, yeah. So, no, I don't think any of the horses can jump that high yet. You use WASD, obviously, but if you see in the corner, like, there's different speeds to each gate, which is really interesting. I, I don't see a lot of horse games <laughs> do that, surprisingly, so that's cool to see. The horses don't overjump either, and another thing is... You can turn normally just with WASD, but if you want a sharper turn, you hold down either the right or the left button on your mouse. And it's the equivalent of inside rain, outside leg, which I thought was super interesting. Another thing is too, when you go to jump, the horses actually have to see the jump or they won't jump it. There's actually one horse too that you can ride that or a few of them. I think some of them do it. But if you see these crates here, some of them don't like jumping the crates, so you have to squeeze both legs and help them over it, which is also interesting. To me, by far, just technicality-wise, this is the most accurate horse game I've ever seen. Correct me if I'm wrong, but you can half halt too, which I thought was interesting. You can half halt. And the horses actually speed up when they see a jump, which is also very accurate. Or they speed up after a jump. It's just, it's a lot. And the controls can be kind of hard. It's actually challenging, but it's not really challenging to the point where it could make you mad, if you know what I mean. Ooh. So now that I've rambled enough and I've raved <laughs> about this game, because I really do love it. I It's not even done and I love it. Um, I'm gonna try to do a course with this horse and then try the hardest show jumping thing there is. So all of the horses have different personalities, like one can be harder to um, control or control than the other. Like some of them are faster, some of them are slower, some of them turn better. This horse, he's the biggest one and he's really fast obviously, he jumps the highest. But he's kind of really hard to turn, and I'm kind of bad at the turning aspect of things, so we'll see how this goes. I'm just going to do a little test course here. Oof. Go, slow down. 
Where's jump four? Are we winging it? I think we're gonna wing it. I don't know where four is. Okay, it's right there. Ooh! Where is five? You see, all of this mess I'm doing right now would not fly in the, the actual equestrian world. Like, I'm pulling on this horse's mouth and it's all sloppy. Like, if this was a bad rider simulator, it would be me. And it really encapsulates, like, you not knowing what you're doing. <laughs> That's a sharp turn. Okay, see, I already, like, suck. Okay. He, like, really likes to go fast, and it's making this really hard. Oof. God. This horse is a lot to handle. Okay. Oh my gosh. He just, like, doesn't want to slow down. Chill, chill. Okay. I almost said whoa like I was on an actual horse. You see, that's good. It's making me want to say whoa. It's making me feel like I'm actually on a horse. There is a first person mode too, but it kind of scares me. It's like a few bit. Okay, so that was probably like 24 faults right there. I think I knocked almost every single jump. Okay, chill. <laughs> See, it can just- it goes really crazy really fast if you're not paying attention. Like, it's really hard. It really does depend on the horse too though, because if I was on one of the other horses that are in there, it wouldn't be this hard. I think this might be the most- Maybe not the most challenging horse. This horse is pretty hard. Let's see first person mode, even though it scares me like really bad because it feels a little too accurate. Like, Because then you like actually, I guess, have to like count the distances too. It's just not like an overhead view. Honestly, that's probably- that's exactly what would have happened to me in real life, too, honestly. I ran into the wall. And just, like, look how pretty it is. I know it's Unreal Engine and, like, most games on Unreal Engine look like this, but it's really, really pretty. And the horses are very, 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 very well done, honestly. Okay, see, I've done all of them except this one because... Uh, okay. I know the course by heart at this point because I did it so, so many times and I failed miserably every single time I did it. First, because I didn't know the only horse that could jump this height was this horse and... I just- I just suck. I didn't mean to go all the way down to a walk, but I'm not really focused on time. I'm just trying to, like, actually complete this. Because there's this one really tricky spot, and you'll see it when it comes up. Okay, we're- we're coming up on it. This isn't it, but oh. it would be a pain in real life, too. Like, an actual pain. So. Chill. Chill. This. It's this. Oh. Yeah, see, I didn't qualify. <laughs> 
because you do the first part and then you move on to the jump off in the same round, but you have to clear the first round. And I keep messing up that line because I can't get him to calm down. I really wonder what kind of like RRP, like accessibility or whatever this game will have when it's completely done. Because the amount of free will you have with these horses and the way it's just like they have very much personality and stuff and how accurate it is, accurate it is, it would be really fun to like roleplay on, but again, I have no idea how possible that would be because so far it doesn't seem like a very possible thing. Who knows though, like I said, I, this game is probably like not even halfway done and it's like already this entertaining, so okay. Um. Oh, oh, we might do it. We might do it. Oh, oh, <gasps> we did it. Okay. Now, I actually don't know where to go <laughs> after that point, but I think I have a general, very general idea. I think this is it. Oh, 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 alrighty. Auto parts. If I finish this, I will genuinely be so pleased with myself because I've been doing this on the other horse for like, I don't know how long. Ooh, okay, okay, okay. Please be the right jump. 17? <gasps> oh, oh my god, I did it! I can't believe I did it. I'm like, I actually feel like, I actually feel like accomplished. That's another thing with this game too. It's so, it's not extremely hard, but it definitely does rack your brain a little with the controls, especially, and like knowing when to turn and stuff, kind of like with a real horse, obviously. And when you actually get something right, you feel rewarded, which isn't very, isn't very prominent in another specific horse game I'm thinking of. So far, it just seems like the kind of game that doesn't make you rage and like want to quit, you know what I mean? Because there's definitely like horse games where it's just so hard that you don't even want to play it anymore. So far, this is just like, I know I already said it, but it is like the perfect, perfect level of challenging. It's nice to look at. It doesn't give me motion sickness like most horse games do. And it just, it's very interesting because in the demo, maybe, I think I am going to play in another video, like the tutorial part. Each lesson, they switched up the horses, so it was always kind of like interesting, if you know what I mean. I'm just, it's really, it's really good so far. I don't know why I waited so long to play it on my channel, but it's, it's, it's really awesome so far and I really like it. If you like, like, things like maple springs eventing and star stable and you like to just run around on a horse and jump and stuff this is definitely the kind of game you would want at the moment there's no other content it's just the lessons and then the shows i think so far and then you can ride the horses whenever you want which is fine by me i do that anyway i just like to ride around and jump it's just a nice thing to have i think it's ten dollars you pay ten dollars to the patreon and you have it forever i don't think you even have to pay monthly it's just ten dollars but i think i'll pay monthly because I feel like this game deserves every little ounce of donation it gets for development because I think it really does have the potential to be big. Those are my thoughts. I really hope you enjoyed this video. If you want to see more, just let me know. I'm very up to doing more. Like, I don't know, maybe we can come up with some ideas like trying to do like a dressage test in it and just make up courses or something because there is dressage in this game. There's no special moves or anything, but it's like very basic stuff. So just let me know. It's really fun. And again, there's so many, there's like four horses and they all have different personalities. So the possibilities are limit, a little bit limited at the moment, but not lackluster, if you know what I mean. So yeah, thank you for watching guys. Um, I'll see you later this week. Okay, bye. Where do you go when the lights are turning?